here is my review for Animated Lockdown. Again, this is probably... I still think he's my favorite figure of the few that I have. Um, he's just a great little deluxe. He's very accurate to the show. A nice little green card. Again, you can't beat for 10 bucks when you pick it up. Or even some of the prices they're going for on eBay. This guy is just awesome. Um, he does His engine does come off, as I mentioned in my Ratchet review. Um, that's his EMP weapon. It can be used on Ratchet. I'll bring him over here. Um, you just take the AMP, flip it around, and then you just put it on Ratchet's arm, press in, and it activates the EMP. And just a side note, there is a slight modification there. You can get this thing, norm the way he's made, the EMP won't stay on. The post is too high, it keeps popping it off. But all you have to do is, there's a little tab in the middle of Ratchet's arm, and if you just trim that down, I use this little tiny pair of nail clippers, just trim that down just enough, It'll, you can leave the post there that still activates the gimmick, but still allows the uh, EMP to stay on his arm and not pop off. Anyway, digression over. Back to lockdown. We'll go ahead and put his engine back on real quick. Alright, to transform lockdown, you start off by pulling these pieces off, just the back, back of the car with the legs, and you flip them down and around. I found it's easier here to just pull this piece off, remove it entirely, pull the legs down, flip these, flip, bend them at the knee, take this piece, push it till it clicks back, bend the knee back up. Do the same on the other side, then take his feet, flip them up, and then flip the bumper up, flip his foot up, and then the bumper up, and then you take this piece, twist it all the way around. And then you separate the arms up here. They come down. You flip his hands out. Once again, modification. Hands do not normally flip that far out and look normal. They usually stop right about here or so. But again, if you just go in and right there at the back of the back of the wrist, clear away a little of that plastic with a hobby knife, and you can have the hands flip out to a normal degree. And then Flip this down. I usually put a thumbnail right here because he can get stuck right there in that top groove and just flip the head up. I found it's quite e easy to do it that way. We haven't flipped this hand out because this piece that we removed earlier, also very tall, hard to fit on oh, this shot here. But you take this piece, flip the hook out, and it attaches right here to his arm like on the show. It can't attach to either arm, but if you hook it onto the right arm, it does also activate the EMP gimmick. I like leaving the EMP flipped forward here because that looks more like he used it on the cartoon. Ratchet had the this panel facing back when he had it. Lockdown has it facing forward. That's usually how I keep it. But there you go. In a review, or in a nutshell, animated Lockdown. Also, of all the reviews you're going to see here today, Lockdown's still the tallest um, out of all of them. Um, for example, here's the Deluxe Prime. Both deluxe scale figures, you can see that Rat that our Lockdown is far taller than Optimus, taller than any of the other figures. He only taller by than Starscream by quarter of an inch, maybe, but still, Lockdown reigns supreme as the tallest of the animated figures so far.